Now, this next requirement is really interesting because we've already got our public API basically figured out. We call add, right? It's how we add items. But they're like, no, 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 no. You need to change how that actually works. And that may break our other tests or it might not, which is sometimes scary or even more scary. Is that a good thing? Is that a bad thing? Let's figure it out. We're going to be beholden to the API we created. Let's, let's go ahead and implement this. Do a little less imperative here. We'll get our array here, but we'll do it with a chain syntax instead of having to do everything with array one, array two, and all that stuff. Let's get our empty first. So it's an empty array, but then we're going to add Uno. And we're going to add it again. And that should result in an array of just one item, not two. So let's assert on this guy. We'll say expect equal. The array length of this should actually be one. And the good news is it should fail immediately, right? Because it's already going to say two. So now we have to go fix this test in the happy path. We're actually changing behavior on this implementation. The way you get rid of things is normally <laughs> using a set, but I don't know how to do that yet. So we'll just say remove dupes. We'll pass in an array. And I guess the item that you want to, I guess, remove. And we'll just say array.filter. Now, normally filter is include, right? So you get like a, th a thing and you're like, return true or false. But we're going to say if thing does not equal, which in Elm is like this, does not equal the item. So that'll only return things that don't equal actually we put in. Actually, it's forward slash. There we go. So it basically says don't, don't equal that. So every other item is going to return true. It's going to stay in the array. But if we have a duplicate, it's not going to stay in the array. And so we're going to remove the dupes first. If there's already duplicates in the array, go ahead and remove it. And we'll say item array. And that's going to return the array back from this function. And we'll just pipe it right here. And there's no need for that second parameter because it'll put it at the end. And voila, our test passed. Fantastic. And if you want to be super paranoid, say two, but even more paranoid is we can write an additional test just to feel really good about this. So we'll do the same thing. Let's change the requirement. Adding multiple items ensures dupes are removed. And let's go ahead and add dose. And then we'll add uno one more time. And we'll say the array should, length should equal two because we added it three times. And then we'll just be paranoid and say three. Oh, gosh, I love it. That's how you can test the implementation and change it. And all your other tests should still work. But your new ones can test the new behavior and make that abstraction that you created work. So notice how remove dupes is not exposed. It's just a private function. We're testing the public functionality of the module that we exposed.